Should I ask first? Or? Yeah, you ask. Okay, I'll ask. Okay. Uh, so, uh, I would like to ask you. Uh, successfully becoming a multicultural uh, country? I think, uh, first of all, you normally don't become multiracial or plural society by choice. Uh, I mean, that, is, uh, that is a natural tendency, people want to be the same. There's always uh, uh, intrinsic pooling factors that uh, pushing people to say so people get uneasy when they handle and try to handle a lot of differences. I mean that's natural everywhere. I mean including multiracial society, we have that uncomfortable uh, feeling about that. So I don't think whether if Korea or Japan or any other country which being perceived as multiracial as a monoracial should feel ashamed that uh, there is a a pressure, there's a tendency people want to uh, monopolize or want to standardize uh, culture. So I think we start from that sort of understanding uh, is important. Um, Malaysian, Malaysia evolved into uh, uh, the existence of Malaysia uh, has been an important uh, process that have been gone in, gone, we have gone through an important process because uh, it is because of the the nature of we in the middle of a trade route. Uh, trading activities is generally international and because of that trading in the, uh, activities uh, the economy of it that's uh, forced us to to absorb various uh, sectors of people and uh, Malaysia is is uh, located in uh, at least two uh, important civilizations, India and China uh, and then you can see also it has been become center of trade for Arabic nation, for the West uh, so it become more or less uh, meeting points of various societies so in this, this circumstances, we find that uh, there are different group of people providing different needs to each other. Uh, and that more or less enrich the economic life of the society. So this is, this is where I think uh, how we become and how we being, uh, push into a process of a pluralistic metropolitan. Um, we can't reconstruct to say that uh, it was something that we do it by design. You know, it's not by design, but it is because of the situation. Um, how does it maintain? I don't. I don't think Malaysia ever has a very uh, systematic or, or even cohesive program, be it political or social in the sense that we are uh, trying to maintain this very enriching experience. Basically, each of the groups are bargaining for their cultural existence in a society, in a very complex society. At the same time, reinforced by new cultural element from be it their homeland or also the new elements coming in. And because of the late uh, later economic uh, development, we also find ourselves to be flooded with uh, people from Bangladesh, from Indonesia, from Burma, from uh, Thailand, Cambodia, and of course uh, Japan, Korea, and others. So this, this all of these things uh, gel together, and I think uh, Malaysians are still struggling uh, to try to cope with it. But the only difference is, since our existence, people think that, well, it is, 
it is always that multiracial, it's always pluralistic. Uh, we have to live with it. Of course, we constantly face a sec certain segment of people who try to dominate, trying to deny the, the pluralities approach of it. Yeah, but finally, it is uh, a sense of how each of these group being empowered to ensure that they are level playing fields between them so that nobody sort of is allowed to dominate. So I, I wouldn't, I, I would not know and I cannot say uh, what would be the future like, but uh, it is really leave it up to, to the people in the society and all the elements of society to continue to defend this, uh, this nature of the society. So, uh, the second question I wanted to ask you was, so uh, Korea is becoming a multicultural nation, whether we like it or not. Yeah. And um, so, especially the young generations, yeah. um, they are experiencing this change by, the, uh, by themselves. And uh, what do you think, what are the uh, stances that these young generations need to take to uh, absorb yeah. this multicultural change that Korea is coming for. Yeah, I think the the same same things are going to go in Korea. Korea is no longer uh, one far uh, northern corner of a whole continent, which are not related geographically, politically, or economically with the rest of Asia or the rest of the world. Today, is Koreans as multinational everywhere. Koreans are. Companies uh, investing in many countries, Korean uh, industries uh, now have to take in foreign workers from various countries. So, by it, by it is also by not by choice. It is uh, if Korea were to continue the growth uh, and continue the economic development, uh, it has to accept this transformation. Uh, similarly, at the at the younger generation level, uh, this there will be discomfort, there will be problems uh, because when we start to open up for new elements to come in, some of our cultural assumption will be challenged. Uh, some of the things that we take for granted and assuming that it was universal values are now being uh, Denied, and people will start saying, "No, this is not universal because it's not part of their culture." And how these differences can be intermingled, interacting, and also uh, what is it called? Melt together without conflicts. It's not an easy task. It, it requires the, especially the younger generation. To be prepared themselves, to put themselves in understanding uh, the diversity of cultures that come in. Uh, now you have an opportunity, not only studying it through a, through a source like books or videos or you know a medium, but we have an opportunity to experience it through direct sense. Now you have Korean young managers who have to enter a workforce which uh, consists of Nepali, uh, people from Bangladesh, could be people from Malaysia. You have an uh, executive who has to do business with Filipinos, with Chinese, with Russian, who have a different cultural uh, background and perspective. And that uh, requires patience, that requires understanding, that requires uh, uh, a new learning curve. So I think this is the new challenge for the young people. So thank you for your interview.